Hey, thank you so much for being here. I'm Jessica, the Furry Family Coach, and we are live again today. Um, and I titled this video, Stop, 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 Yelling at Your Dog. Um, how many of you do this? How many of you yell at your dog? <laughs> Um, I understand if you don't want to admit it, that's okay. Um, but this, today's topic, stop yelling at your dog is actually another myth of dog training that I go over in my new ebook, seven miracle steps to train your dog. You can get your copy right here, bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. Um, so go ahead and grab your copy. It's another one of the myths of dog training that I cover in my new ebook. Um, some people think you have to yell and scream and how far does that actually get you? <laughs> Probably not very far because it doesn't work. And here's why and here's what you need to be doing. So when your dog does something you don't want them to do or maybe they're barking and you're trying to get them to stop yelling at them is not the answer and here is why so if your dog is barking at something and you're trying to get them to stop barking and all you're doing is yelling to, for them to stop barking um in that instance your dog thinks that you are barking along with them so instead of letting your dog know that everything is okay, that they don't have to bark. You're telling them, yes, yes, I know there's something going on too. So you're, you're perpetuating the energy. You're, you're, you're buying into and enhancing that energy of them barking. So it's definitely not the thing to do, um, to yell and scream. It doesn't help. It only makes the situation worse. Now, if your dog is doing something or has done something that you're not particularly fond of and you start yelling, um, again, it's not going to work. And there are a couple of reasons why. And my hair is all messy. Sorry, guys. So if your dog has previously done something, you come later and find something that your dog has done and you try to discipline or you're yelling at them or whatever may be the case your dog is although your dog is incredibly intelligent they don't have the ability to put two and two together so they're not going to say they're not going to realize in their mind that oh two hours ago or however long ago it was two hours ago i chewed on this shoe and now you're upset about it they're not, they don't have the ability to put those together. So yelling and screaming after the fact is never going to get you anywhere with your dog. They, they can't put those two things together. That, that cause and effect isn't, it's not available, too far apart. Now, if you catch your dog in the act of doing something, again, you still don't wanna yell and scream. They're not gonna understand what you want. Instead, what you need to do is redirect their attention to something that is okay for them to be doing. So for instance, if they're chewing on your shoe and you catch them doing it, what you need to do is not pull the shoe away and start yelling and screaming, which most people do. What you need to do is find another high value item, something that is higher value to your dog than that shoe, um, a treat, a chew toy, something else maybe they love like my dog kim does if you can see her back here behind me this is her favorite spot to lay um squeaker toys right get their attention directed away from what you don't want them to have and on to something that you do want them to or that, that is acceptable for them to be playing with or chewing on so that's the appropriate way to handle these situations if you're just yelling and screaming your dog has absolutely no idea why you're yelling and screaming the only thing they are going to understand is your body language so a lot of times people will be yelling and screaming at their dogs and their dogs are kind of cowering and they think that they're getting through to their dogs when in fact the only thing that's happening is your dog is reacting to your body language because you are upset they just don't know why so you're really there's there's 
there's no positive outcome for you yelling and screaming at your dog because there is no way for them to understand what it is you're so upset about. They know that you're upset, which is why you're, you're seeing that um, demeanor in your dog change when you start yelling and screaming, but they have no idea what it is that you're so upset, upset about. So really what you have to do is um, catch them doing something you don't want them to be doing and redirect their attention. That's the best way to, to shape and mold behavior. And then when they choose to chew on the chew toy instead of your shoe, reward that. So they continue to make the right choices so that they're not doing the things you don't want them to do. Um, but yelling and screaming never ever works. Your dog doesn't understand it and you're not getting the point across to them. All you're doing is showing them a negative side of yourself, which is only going to damage the trust and damage the bond between the two of you. And when you damage that trust and that bond, it makes it that much harder for you to effectively train your dog. So, and, and the, the ideal situation is that we use positive reinforcement to mold and shape behaviors in our dog that we want to see out of them. So um, again, that's why yelling and screaming doesn't work. Um, you're not teaching anything. It's the same goes for a young child. If you're, if you have, you know, a two or three year old, a one year old, however old they may be, and they're doing something you don't want them to do, simply saying no or taking something away doesn't help them learn. What you want to do instead is give them a better option, something you that, that's okay for them to play with, something that, um, you know, maybe they have a pen in their hand. You don't, they've somehow found a pen and you don't want them to be playing with that pen, but they have, um, you know, a, a toy that is okay with them to play with right next to it. So you offer a trade and you let them know that it is okay to play with this is not okay to play with this. So you have to effectively use positive reinforcement to mold and shape behaviors and let them know what is okay and what isn't okay. So we, the human language isn't something that is easily learned. I mean, our dogs will learn um, certain words and cues from us as we train it to them, but just yelling and screaming at them, just, it doesn't get, it doesn't get you anywhere. In fact, it only, um, weakens the trust and bond that you have with your dog, that your dog has with you, um, which makes it much more difficult in the long term to train your dog. So that's another one of the myths of dog training that so many people do. I can't tell you how many times I see people yelling and screaming at their dogs. Um, even people I know, <laughs> it's so frustrating. And as a dog trainer, all I want to do is shake them and say, stop it, please stop it. You are not doing any good. You're only damaging your relationship with your dog. Um, so again, that's just one of the many myths of dog training that I cover in my book. Please go grab yourself a copy. Um, it's seven miracle steps to dog training and I go over the entire foundation, everything I teach my in-home clients um, to set them up on the path, them and their dog on the path up to success. Um, for positive methods, dog training, seven miracle steps to train your dog. This myth is one of the many myths of dog training I cover in the book. You can get your copy at bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if you are watching this video live, go ahead. If you wouldn't mind, please type this in. Yes, you go ahead and type this in bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. And if you're watching this recorded later on, if you're not here with me live, um, that's okay. Go ahead and type that in. Go ahead and um, grab your copy, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. And hey, if you have any questions about dog training, uh, dog training, dog behavior, even cat behavior, um, if you are so inclined, I have some knowledge there too. Um, dog nutrition, cat nutrition, go ahead and post your question in the comments. Maybe you're having trouble potty training. Maybe um, your dog is barking excessively. Maybe um, you're just concerned about 
um, you know, maybe your dog, you think you might, your dog might have separation anxiety. I don't know. Let's talk about it. And let's talk about the symptoms you're experiencing. Put all of that in the comments. I would love to know. Um, and let me know if this video helped you. Um, because I know so many people are out there yelling and screaming at their dogs because they think they're changing their dog's behavior. And the truth is that that's not the truth. So go ahead and post in the comments if this video has helped you. I really hope it has. Share it if you know anybody um, that could also benefit from the information. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this live video. Thank you so much for being with me today. And I will see you in the next video.